Hey Keys Mods fans, this is David Fine and I'm in Ocala and literally in the city of Ocala and I stopped over on the side of the road because I saw a bunch of this sweet clover and it's right next to a hammock where there's tons and tons of cedar trees and things like that and oaks. So we're gonna stop and we're gonna see if we can find some hair streaks, maybe some olive hair streaks or something like that. Uh, but guys, this is stop two on our, our North Florida trip. Guys, let's see what we can find. Okay. All right. Let's take a walk. So this is, there's lots of garbage. <laughs> yeah, no, we're going to go this way. There's sweet clover there, but nothing. So one thing with hair streaks, Ricky, uh -huh. there must, there must be sunlight. Okay. If there's flowers and it's in the shade, that there won't, they won't go to it. So like like this right here, this is all sweet clover. Yeah. Definitely. This is this is the best nectar source for hair streaks in Florida. Okay. So yeah. this is the stuff. And what we're gonna do from as we're going throughout North Florida, we're gonna look for patches of this stuff growing on the side of the road. Okay. This stuff grows where it's mowed. So like like it, it, where there's lawn mowers, they're, they're cutting it down because it grows up real quick. All right. All right, but if it, it's got to be in the sun, yeah. so like stuff like stuff like that over there. Yep. So we're gonna take a little walk, and we're gonna see what we can find. Yep. Lots of fire ant stuff, and this is red cedar here. So this is the host plant for that uh, the hair streak. See. Uh, Alright, so guys, here's our first butterfly of our trip here on this spot. That's a tough one to identify. Comment down below if you know what species of skipper that is. Good luck to you. But his wings are nice and open. So that's cool. Oh. See where he went? <laughs> no. All right. Butterfly number two. Golf fertility. The cool thing about bugging in the morning is that bugs are a lot more friendly <laughs> in the morning. This is a nice female Gulf artillery. But that's not what we're here for because we get those in South Florida. Let's see what else we can find. So the last time I was here, like 17 years ago, this whole trail here was full of sweet clover, which made uh, butterfly hunting a lot more interesting but right now i don't see hardly any sweet clover so a lot probably some of this yeah that's willow right there you see a butterfly no i see this this could be a spider this is your willow plant oh no it's caterpillar caterpillars look at this wow. what is that willow it's a moth. That's a big color, really. What is it? It's a bunch. There's a bunch of them. Oh. Look at that. Yeah. These are all. Oh, dude, there's there's a bunch of caterpillars in there. Look at that. A bunch of caterpillars in there. Yeah, look at them. Oh yeah. Huh. Well. What is it? We cool. can try and we'll find out what they are. How about that? Look there's a bunch of them in there too. A bunch. Okay. Well, guys, we have we have caterpillars on our willow. To be honest with you, I don't know what they are. I have got a Tupperware here, which we can put them in. Yes, they are. Here, let's let's take a few, pop them in there. Oh, look! There's a nice big fuzzy caterpillar there too. Look. What is that? See him? Yeah. Check him out. He'll drop. 
Oh, what is that? <laughs> Did he fall? No, I oh. don't want to get. No, you're good. I don't want he, to he sting. Won't. No, he won't sting. Huh? No. That. that. It looks like some kind of Arteab moth. This is nice. Yeah. Yeah, 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 dude. There's, there's caterpillars. I want to leave this one out because we got big, way bigger. Ones. Yep. Let's and that this get. little ball. Get this little ball right here. Yeah. That little ball has got some serious caterpillars inside. Look oh, at them. Look at, look at that. Yeah. So yeah, put him in for sure. Oh my God, this. Okay. There's some old ball here and over there. Yeah. We will find out. Because this is a plant, guys, that we have in South Florida. So uh, that's a super easy thing. Let's see. Guys, comment down below if you know what these are. I doubt it. We got something. So. All right, so we got two species of caterpillars on that one little tiny willow plant. And. Uh, oh, we got another one here, a heavy one. The fuzzy? Yeah. Yeah, get the fuzzy. And he'll, he'll drop off, so we'll put him over the top of there. <laughs> yep, oh, too late. He fell. I can get him. You got him? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, can I touch him? Yeah, you can touch him. Okay. Let's check him out. Little fuzzy guy. That's definitely an Arctiate of some kind. Tiger moth. So, good. Look at it. Everywhere. What you got? Yeah. Lover grasshoppers. Look over there. Oh, so yeah. Look at that. He's molting there. Uh-huh. Shedding his skin. Yep. Look at that. Getting bigger. Getting bigger, bigger. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we can find. You know, I used to use those for fishing. Oh, yeah? I bet they work. They do. <laughs> Coming down. We got two Laremia acheus skippers flirting or warring. I'm not sure which one it is. <laughs> you can see them just circling, circling, circling. Like airplane mode, man. Airplane mode. Well, <laughs> like a helicopter. Well, okay, I'm going to try, yeah. I'm trying to get a little video of the Laremia acheus. They're, they're using this pathway in the AM sun to open their wings and get warm. But not being cooperative for video. Okay, Buckeye. Uh, he's missing a big old chunk out of his wing. All right, guys, here's a Buckeye. Beautiful. Yeah, he's pretty. I never got that close to one. No. That ain't normal. <laughs> no, that's not normal. You are lucky. They love you, bro. They, yeah, well, that's a female, too. Wow, beautiful. Nice buckeye. Big old chunk out of her wing. Probably a bird or a lizard tried to take a stab there. But buckeyes never let you get that close. Never. Never. Oh my God. Never. Right there, you sit on a flower? Yep. There you go. Well, we'll chalk some of that up to being early morning. Hmm. He's not awake yet. Well, maybe they love you, bro. Maybe they love me. Maybe it's just going to be one of those trips yeah. where, you know, things are just going to go our way. What do we see? Oh, that's a, that's a pearly crescent. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Pearly crescent. Female. So pretty common bug, but it's another species to our list. All right, guys, check this out. What a beautiful forest. The end of this little trail comes right down 
to the bank of this river. How cool. Look at this. Beautiful. Got a nice moist forest here, guys. Very nice forest. And uh, you know, there's not a whole lot of bugs on this trip aside from these caterpillars, but how cool is it to just kind of walk up on a little neat little place like this and see uh, a neat little river like this. Almost wish we had a kayak. Go, go cruise down this river real quick. This is so beautiful. Got plenty of hardwood trees. We've got uh, got hickory. See sweet gum. See uh, see hackberry. Yo, what's up? What's up? <laughs> it's it's an all of your street. Oh, Hold on a sec. Hold on. Is he going to focus for me? Oh, there we go, guys. So Our funny. first olive hair streak. It looks like a male. I'm after the females because the females are the ones that will give me eggs. But that is a beauty. All right, we have a red banded hair streak right here, guys. Look at that beauty. Beautiful hair streak. Notice how he's twitching his little tails. Pulling attention away from his head. Oh, it's a beautiful butterfly. I love hair streaks. Red banded hair streak, guys, a gorgeous one. Excellent. All right. There's a little day flying Arctia Euthesia Bella, I think. There he is. Nice little day flying Arctid. These guys are cool because no two are the same. They're either pale, whitish color, they can be yellow, they can be orange, they can be red, pink. The underside, the under hind wing is all different colors. Oop. Oh, there he goes. See how they, they're pink when they fly? It's pretty neat. Come here. Okay, there's a red wasp moth. Oh, where'd he go? You see him? This guy right here. Where'd he go? You see him? Is he? Oh, he went through. That is a beauty. Yes. And here's your blackberries. Check it out. Blackberries, yeah. Yeah, man, right there. This is a, a little perk for collecting or looking for bugs up here in North Florida. We get to have a wild blackberry. Mm, mm, mm. No one's a little sour. Sour? A little sour. Sometimes they're sour, but... <laughs> no, they, they can get they get a lot sweeter than that. Golf fertility, the ever present.
There's a little tawny crescent. And we've got both species of crescent spots on video now from our trip. That's cool. Hopefully we can find the Texas crescent spot at Gulf Hammock. But number two, here we go. Well guys, uh, North Florida, where wherever you have these little creeks that kind of cut through the forest, it makes these beautiful, for these beautiful, moist, deciduous forests that are really, really good for diversity, especially in moths. And uh, I love just kind of exploring, checking it out. But uh, this was a quick stop. We saw a few bugs. Hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're in Ocala and we've got plenty more action where this is coming from. So stay tuned as we go and hunt for some more different critters. Guys, we've got a lot ahead of you for our North Florida trip. Uh, so guys, stay tuned and uh, let's get out there and enjoy some nature, let's enjoy Florida. Look at this, it's beautiful. Take care.